Hey everybody, my name is Willie and in today's video I'm going to show you guys two things. First up, I'll explain you guys how you can get your hands on the card game Bring Out Your Beast that is from Cracker the Greek that is fan made by me. And after that I will also explain you guys how to play the game. So without further ado... Okay... Alright, so if you go to the description below this video or you go to the comment section, you will find three links available. That first two links will give you access to the Bring Out Your Beast cards, uh, the, the cards themselves. So you can go ahead and download them to your computer. And the third link will give you access to the template that I use to make these cards. So if you want to, you can go ahead and make more cards yourself. So what you've then got to do is go ahead and print the first two files out. And I would recommend setting your printing device on high quality because that way the cards will turn out the best. And after that, you simply cut out the cards and now you can play the card game Bring Out Your Beast yourself. So quickly before I explain the rules of the game, I want to say two little important things. The first thing is that I got a lot of questions about if I was going to make more Bring Out Your Beast cards and uh, the answer to that question is that I'm not gonna make any more Bring Out Your Beast cards But say this video gets 50 likes uh, I would consider making an, exp an expansion deck So if it tends to go that way, uh, inspiration is always welcome You can even send me an entire artwork over on my Instagram That is over on my channel description if you want to And the second thing is that I'm gonna upload a video of a, a battle video of playing Bring Out Your Beast before the end of this week, so if you don't want to miss that one out, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's get into how to play the game. So, Bring Out Your Beast is a very simple two-player card game. Both players start with 20 life points, and after that they take turns in which they play monsters and spells in an attempt to reduce that amount to zero. And the first play pl player to make their opponent's life points go to zero wins the game. Each player may create their own deck consisting of 10 to 30 cards, but remember that you can only have 3 cards with the same name in your deck. Uh, some cards, are, however, are so good that you can only have less than 3 of them in your deck. The game starts with each player shuffling their deck and then drawing 3 cards, so they have an opening hand. Then players take turns and each turn starts by drawing one card and after that players can uh, play monsters and spells from their hand. And after that's over, um, you can battle with the monsters that you have on the playing field and after that you end your turn. Okay, so there are two basic cards in Bring Out Your Beast. You have monster cards and you have spell cards. You can tell the difference because it says either monster or spell at the bottom right here. So let's get into monster cards first. Every monster card has an artwork. Um, over here it says the name. Uh, some cards have a maximum behind their name. For example, Beast Nair has a maximum of two. So that means you can only have two copies of this card in your deck. Um, but yeah, below the name it has an ability that you can use during your turn. Um, over here it, has, it says the power of this monster card. And on the bottom left right here it says the number of this card in the set. And monsters are your primary way to reduce your opponent's life points. And all, oh yeah, if a monster is defeated, it will go to your discard pile, which is located right behind your deck. So now for spell cards, uh, spell cards also have an artwork and a name. And below the name is the effect of the uh, spell uh, or the spell card. And um, when you play a spell, you simply uh, do what the effect says, and then will, then it will go to your discard pile. So in this example, power berry boost. Double the power of one monster in play. So, say you play this, you can double the power of Chillin Villain, which goes from 3 to 6, and then you place it in your discount. So now we've come to our main phase, in which we play monsters and spells. You can only play one monster during each of your turns. However, if you have multiple monsters with the same name in your hand, you can play two or three of them at once. But remember, when you do that, you cannot uh, play monsters for the rest of that turn. For spells goes that there are no restrictions when it comes to playing them during your turn. And before we end our turn, we still have our battle phase remaining. And during our battle phase, we will decide if our monsters will go for the attack. And if that is the case, we will push it up uh, to the front of the battlefield and twist it to the side. Or if they will defend. And if that is the case, you will it will go to the back of your playing field and you will swipe it. 
like this. And this is called a swipe. Um, this is now in attack position and this is in defense position. So in this example I will say Fetchling will go, uh, I will swipe Fetchling and it will go in defense position and we will attack with Cannon Cat. So since my opponent didn't swipe any uh, monsters during that last turn and they don't have any defense position monsters, Cannon Cat has now two options. Uh, first up he can just simply attack my opponent directly since he doesn't have any uh, defense position monsters. So it will go, uh, I will deal 5 damage to my opponent's life points. Or you can say Cannon Cat will attack my opponent's um, attack position monster. And this decision is up to you. So in this example uh, my opponent has a Bochelo in defense position. And when I want to attack with Cannon Cat right now I still have two options. I can either attack my opponent's attack position monster or I can attack this Bochelo that is in defense position. Um, as long as my opponent has a defense position monster, I cannot direct attack my opponent's life points. When you battle with your monster, you will deal damage to your opponent's monster equal to your monster's uh, power. So in this case, Cannon Cat will deal 5 damage to Dragon. When a monster has more damage on it than it has power, the monster is defeated and will go to their owner's discard pile. And this goes on until one player doesn't have any life points remaining and that player will lose the game in that case. Or if one player isn't able to draw a card at the beginning of his or her turn, uh, that player will also lose in that case. And that was pretty much it for this video. So it took me a lot of time to make the entire Bring Out Your Beast card game. So uh, if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you left a like and considered subscribing. Uh, a battle video is coming soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye everybody.